What is up YouTube? I'm back with another Sony TV video. This one specifically for how to add more storage to your Sony Android TV. And I'm going to be using the X900H, but this should work for just about any television running Android 9 on Sony. Um, so should be any TV that this works with. If there's one thing I could complain about with my Sony Android TV, it is the lack of storage space. Sony, if you watch this video, 4.4 gigs, 4 gigs, whatever it is exactly, just doesn't cut it, guys. So please, at least give us 8 gigs. Don't be that cheap. This stuff is so cheap nowadays for storage. Not including it is kind of like a sin. And your TVs are great, so please bump that up a little. All right, guys. So for me, I don't mean storage as in, hey, I want to play some videos on my TV. I mean storage as in I need some more apps on my TV. So if you need more apps on your TV, this video is for you. It's not perfect. It does have its flaws, but... It works and it works reliably so I'm going to show you guys how to get into it all right this is what we're going to do we're going to turn around and face the television okay here we go on the Sony TV guys the first thing that you're going to want to do is go up to the settings cog which is right here all right or you can alternatively press the settings button on your remote control which is right here okay and if you see settings down there, you can just click that to get into settings. Either way works. Um, once you're in here, what you're going to want to do is go down to device preferences right there. All right. Click on that. And then you're going to want to click on about at the top of device preferences. Click on about. And you want to go all the way down to build, which is down here. Doesn't matter what build you're on, although I certainly suggest if you're not just double check, so some software update, it should tell you anyway. But right here, when I said you need to be on Android version 9, there's version 9. So check your Sony Android TV if you don't have an X900H. If it says version 9 in this screen, you should be able to do this as well. You're going to go down to where it says build. And you're going to press on your remote this center button here. And you're going to keep pressing it over and over and over again. It's going to tell you eventually you are four steps away, three steps away, two steps away, one step away from being a developer. Then it's going to say you are now a developer. Mine says no need. You are already a developer because I've pressed that button a long time ago. <laughs> All right. Once you're a developer, you're a developer. You're going to press the back button from here, guys, which is right here on your remotes back. And you're going to go down until you find a new menu setting called developer options. You're going to click on developer options. And obviously you need to make sure developer options is enabled on the top. It should be by default because you just turned yourself into a developer. If it's not, turn that on. Maybe different system updates might change the default on or off, but that will allow you to select all of the other developer options. So what do we want to do with these developer options? It's pretty simple. We're going to go all the way down near the bottom. Okay. Uh, if you guys saw my previous video on the color settings and picture settings, I showed you guys these three developer options, your, your scales. If you did not see that, I will link it at the end of this video in a card so that you can go check those uh, color settings out and picture settings and how to speed up your TV. This, though, for this, we're going to go down to the bottom. And right here is what you really want to turn on. <clears throat> Force allow apps on external. Makes any app eligible to be written to external storage regardless of manifest values. So what does that mean? That essentially means that any app inside of the television, all apps get written with a manifest value that will tell you this should be installed on the internal storage or it can only be installed on the internal storage of the device cannot be installed to external storage. You're telling the television, I don't care what the app manifest value says, put it on external storage because that's where I need it to go. Now there's plus and minuses to this because apps may not 100% behave properly if they are there. And if they, are, if they don't behave properly, you're gonna go ahead and put it back on your internal storage. It's not gonna harm anything. You just might notice an app might behave kind of funny. If it does, you put it back on internal and pick a different one to move to external. Your whole objective is to not run out of space. Um, that's basically all there is to that. So I'm going to go back here to the TV and I'm going to show you guys 
real quick just the storage that I have right now. You can see internal shared storage is 4.4 gigabytes. My U, I have a Samsung USB drive plugged in, 245 gigabytes. Now that's way more than enough that anyone needs. I'm currently actually using a Samsung, I believe this is my T3. That's how old this drive is. It was just sitting around. I have T7s plugged into all of my shields and I would recommend the T7 now because that's kind of the newest drive or at least a T5. But my T3 still works. That's what's plugged into the television and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Your internal shared storage though. Let's take a look at this. I have moved stuff over and apps still 2.4 gigabytes at a 4.4. So that's leaving me only two gigs left, but you see everything else is good. My available space, 1.9 gigs. Cache data guys is another thing. You can always just press that and then it asks you clear cache data. Okay. You will not see the data clear right away. You have to back out and go back in. Now my cache data is down to 7.9 megabytes. So I just freed up some more space and now I have two gigabytes available. So every once in a while, go in here and clear your cache data on your internal storage. Now to the Samsung USB drive, I have almost two gigs of apps. Cache data, 545 kilobytes. There's some miscellaneous stuff that's moved over here, which normally would be on your internal drive, further lowering the space. And I still have tons of available space on this. All right. So that's how my setup looks, but what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to leave it right here inside of device preferences, and I'm going to show you the back of the television real fast. All right. On the back of the TV, I'm just, I'm going to need my phone to put a light out here because it's not as bright back here on the back of the TV. You have two USB ports right at the top there these up here okay sorry this is difficult i don't have a lot of space back here but i'm trying to show you there's where my samsung drive is plugged in right on top and there's two ports there one of them is blue plug it into the blue port the one closest to the television screen and you can see that the wire comes down and down here right here is my samsung drive it's just hanging there that's, uh, I'm got to tie it up at some point, but right now it's just hanging. So that wire is up there. That's where you want to plug it in on the television. Okay. Beyond that, all right, we're going to make this simple now. Um, once it's plugged in, you'll get a pop-up on the screen that is going to ask you if you'd like to format it as usable storage for the TV. The television does not allow you to format it as internal storage. If you guys have seen my shield videos or used an Nvidia shield, you know, you have the choice for internal or external. This doesn't allow for that. So that is exactly why you only get one option to format it. That is exactly why you turn on this and you don't have to turn it on on an Nvidia shield because you're only able to allow external storage. So once you plug it in, you will, get the option to allow it to be external storage. If you do not get a pop-up that you see, you're going to go into settings, into device preferences, down to storage, and you should see a drive there of some sort, and you're going to click it, and you see right here, erase and format as removable storage. I don't want to do that. It should just say format as removable storage because it's the first time you're plugging it in. You're going to click that and it's going to format it as removable storage for you. There is no internal storage. Like I said, I wish there was again, Sony, why not allow for internal storage it would be nice, but that's basically it. Now issues. I have issues with this, not much, nothing that's major or deal breaker. But if you look here on my home screen, it's only showing the apps that are installed to, um, the internal storage. Now I can go ahead and hit plus. And I can take any app that I have installed, installed to external storage, like HBO max per se. See, that's normally not allowed to go, but I got it there. All right. So if I hit that, this is now here, but, and it's on my external storage. The problem is every once in a while, you're going to get a notification, at least on this version of the firmware. And that's going to come up right here next to your inputs. You're going to get a notification circle and that notification is going to say, system low on storage. And when you get that, 
That means that for whatever reason, all the apps that you have on your TV that are on the external storage are not going to be here. That means they're also going to disappear from here. All you have to do, guys, to fix this, it's not a big problem. On your remote control, hold the power button down. Oops, I hit three. Hold the power button down. And you're going to get this menu with cancel and restart. You're going to click restart. And as soon as you restart, all your apps will show up again in the apps drawer. But this, because I added it, will no longer be here. So I've stopped adding things to my favorites on the Sony TV just because of that. I could put 10 apps from the drive on there. They won't show up once that happens. Even once I reboot, it loses the manifest value for what is in your favorites row. It's the only downside to it. Um, other than that, it's fine. Okay. You can see that HBO Max and stuff in the, in the channels, that still works. All right. But you do lose this, this setting to be however you want it. That's pretty much the only issue, guys. And like I said, it happens only once in a while. It's kind of random. It's happened to me maybe, I've been doing this for about a month now, and it's happened to me probably like once a week on average. It might be 10, once every 10 days. I could be wrong. Maybe it's happened three times in a month or so. That's it. So it's pretty simple, guys. You're pretty much done at that point. And let me show you how to move an app, okay? So once you've formatted it, you go ahead and you go and pick an app. Now it won't let you do every app because like Netflix is actually a, um, an app that comes on the TV already. It won't let you do that, but I'll take something like HD home run, which I've installed myself. Okay. You're going to hold down your center button in the app drawer on it. And we're going to go to info and you can see that it's using 40.48 megabytes in internal shared storage. If I click my center button here, I get the option now to move it between the Samsung drive or the internal shared storage. Okay. And if I just click the Samsung drive, it's going to move it. Like I said, you won't see that for something like Netflix because that is an app that comes on a device. So when I go to info on Netflix, apparently, Oops, sorry, I messed that up. Open up the app drawer again. Oops, sorry, apps. When I go to info on something like Netflix, okay. Storage use 133 megabytes on internal. You click it, it does nothing. So that's how you know. If it does not do anything, then it's not able to be moved. And that's pretty much apps that come on the TV. Look at Prime Video, info, storage used. Can't do anything. Why? Because it comes with the TV. So certain things you can't. YouTube, you probably can't also. Let's see. Info. Storage used. Can't do it. But Hulu, I'll show you one that's already on there just so you could see. You would think you couldn't, right? Info. Look at that on Hulu. Storage used in the Samsung drive. So that's where it's at. So you can go through each app one by one. Okay. Things like stars, no problem. Info, Samsung Drive. So a lot of apps can do this. You can do this with a lot of apps. That's all there really is to it, guys. It's pretty simple. Not a hard thing to do. Uh, like I said, I will link in the description below to this TV. I'll link to my recommended um, SSD drive. And... If you're okay with just not having that apps row always staying right, and maybe that gets fixed in the future, I'm not sure. But if you're okay with the apps row not always staying right, then this is for you. If you need more space, this is for you. It's the only way, literally the only way, to add more storage for apps to your Sony TV. So I hope this video helped you guys. Stay supreme. Stay good. One love. I'm out of here.